if you would like to order dipper frogs, please check two things before you make an order. The pressure at the end of the hydraulic line and the type of the coupler. If the manual of your excavator shows the right numbers, please check the actual hydraulic pressure of the machine. Always check the pressure at the end of the line. This is how you measure the pressure of your excavator. Place the, the pressure gauge at the end of the line and use the dead end. If you have measured the pressure and the pressure is more than 300 bars for Dipper Frox 850 and more than 220 bars for Dipper Frox 600, then your machine is suitable for the job. If the pressure is less, uh, then there can be several reasons for that. Bad connections, there is a safety valve in the system, or the pressure is limited in the computer of the excavator. Please check all those three things and there is a good chance that you might resolve the problem. But if the pressure is still less than 220 bars, we have the solution for that also. You can order a smaller diameter cutting tip or less aggressive feed screw. If your machine has the right pressure, then the next question is the quick coupler. If you would like to order the quick coupler from us, we need to know the A, B, C and D measurements. If you would like to make the coupler yourself, then the bolt pattern is the following. This is how Dippervox will arrive to your place. The Dipper Fox is in this metal box and the quick coupler is packed on top of the box. If you open the box, then please first thing find the service manual and the pressure gauges. Take the time and please read it. It's very important and use the pressure gauges accordingly. This metal box, don't throw it away. It is designed to be fitted into the pickup truck so you can use it as a transport or as a toolbox. If you have bought a Dipper Fox and it has arrived at your place, you need to check some important things before you start the work. This must be done always if you connect the Dipper Fox to the new machine. Dipper Fox needs the drain line. Make sure that your machine has one and it has the free flow. If you are not sure about the free flow, you can check it as follows. Open the gap of the hydraulic oil tank. Connect the air compressor to the drain. If you hear the bubbles in the tank, then there is a free flow. If there is no drain line, then you can install it as follows. Drain line must be half inch in diameter. We don't recommend valves on the drain line. If you have the valve, then make sure that it is always open during the work. There is also an emergency valve on the Dipper Fox engine. If the drain is blocked, then the valve is activated. If you see the oil during the work, then stop immediately. Now the Dipper Fox is connected to the excavator. 
and let's talk about the hydraulics. There are three hoses. Order of the lines is not important because the machine works both ways. But if the pressure is to the right valve, then the machine works clockwise. The middle one is an anti-drain hose. And make sure that uh, if you have the valve in the anti-drain hose, that this valve is open. Because if there is a excess pressure in the engine, then you can damage the engine. Those pressure gauges you can find from the Dipper Fox box. If you use the machine the first time, then please install those pressure gauges uh, as uh, follows. This one do the inflow and this is the pressure gauge for the uh, drain. This way you can monitor the performance of the Dipper Fox. If everything works perfectly, you can uninstall them and uh, connect the hoses directly. If you use the Dipper Fox on a new excavator, then please, for the first time, connect those pressure gauges in order to monitor the performance of the new machine. How to make sure that the hoses have the correct length? In order to check it, extend the excavator dipper and the hoses should have this bend or the curvature as you can see in this video. If the hoses are too long, they might get tangled in the bushes and if the hoses are too tense, there is a risk that uh, those connections here might get damaged. This video was a short review of how to use a dipper fox. Don't ignore our service manual. Please read it before you go to the forest.